So first thing you want to do guys is set off your disconnect downward and disconnect the wires from that condenser fan over. and if you want to find out which one that is you can go to your schematic go to outdoor section and see your let's see what it's at right here it says black purple brown and black so you would go to your wires and here's black purple and brown and it goes straight up just disconnect it right here and there you go and just push it upward and pull it out from the other end hey guys welcome back today i'm going to be replacing this condenser fan motor as it's going bad so in the future to prevent from breaking down and heating up the space i'm just going to replace it right now hey guys so here are these screws are 516s Now that the fan blades off guys, you want to take the old motor off of the um, cage. screws to tighten down and after that put the wires in the new pipe
So I'm gonna put the fan blade back on and I'm gonna put it 516s away from the end. So anytime you change out your condenser fan motor, you want to change out your capacitor as well and your contactor. Just because they have been worn out and it's better to get them replaced at the same time. First thing you want to do is take a picture of how it's wired and start taking these back off. There we go, it says four wires. And you got a 516s down here in the bottom. Screw them. Now we'll just pull that all the way off. This is rated for, it's hard to see in the sun, 45 microfarads. Got the new one right here. This one says 45 microfarads as well. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and test your unit out. It's 
to make sure everything is tightened down. See how that fan blade runs. 